and welcome everybody here in Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube for some Gruel Adventure. That's right, we're going to be beating down with some Ember Cleave, some Haste Creatures, but still have a good good card advantage because we're playing our adventure spells with, of course, Edgewall Innkeeper being the one that can give us a whole lot of cards for just one mana. Um, as far as our adventure spells, we got some Rimrock Knights, be able to get some pump in it to pair up with our Ember Cleave. Plus, of course, you know, be an adventure creature that can draw a card. And then the two main ones are Bone Crusher Giant and Love Struck Beast, um, both heavy hitters at the three mana slot um, that can wear Ember Cleaves pretty well. Um, Once Upon a Time is a big part of the deck. Being able to make sure that we have our right colors of mana, because our, our mana is not so good with 10 Mountain, 10 Forest, but we can get away with it with the Once Upon a Times. And then, of course, also looking for Innkeeper or looking for Questing Beast and so on. Love Domri's Ambush as a removal spell. We got four of these. Uh, pump up our creatures and get some removal there. And even going with a, a main deck Veil of Summer, because that card is just really impactful. Uh, Harpooners can eat up all these geese that are running around. I guess the geese are probably flying around, that are flying around. Um, and that's that's our deck. It's just a pretty pretty solid deck here. Not nothing really too special about it. So let's get to let's go ahead and play some games. We're gonna play some games over in ranked. That's what we're doing today. We got a, a rank up day. So far we've been five hundred. Two and two, two and two. We're playing four matches again. Hopefully we get a three and one or four and zero, oh and can uh, break this 500 streak that we're on here today. So here we go. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. We're gonna, I'm gonna try the Oko Madness up next. We'll see how it goes. You know, just doing something a little different. Um, you think Once Upon a Time is overrated? I mean, what do you expect for a, a zero mana card? Like zero. How can a zero mana card be better? You got Gristle Branded. I think I have to mulligan. I think two Questing Beast, one Ember Cleave. It's just going to be too slow. I don't know. I mean, I have like. Yeah, I think we have to mulligan. All right, this should be better. Temple of Silence. All right, we're getting the beatdowns in. Hmm. Death Touch creature can be annoying to get around. Just kill that with the ambush, and now we have a 4-2 attacker. If I had a land, I would not be playing the innkeeper, but since I don't have a land, I'm going to play the innkeeper now. So we can just play the beast next turn and, and just hope the innkeeper doesn't die. So no trample. We're kind of digging, digging for Ember Cleave right now. Hmm. 
Yeah, the sub battle is always the last Saturday of the month. Yeah, always do sub battle the last. The last Saturday of the month. All right, well, we found all our lands. I need these spells back. Ayara. Ayara's cool. All right, so they're down to six. I'm not really expecting a sweeper. I guess my opponent could get me pretty good by playing a sweeper. Yeah, no, I, d I don't want Hushbringer in that deck because the ETB effects with the Knights. And also want to play the, just like the maximum number of Knights. Um, getting through this Orzhov Enforcer is going to be tough. That was a... Yeah, really need to play the maximum number of Knights to make a claimed contender. Like to be able to, because you have to have a Knight in play to, to trigger a claimed contender. And also Worthy Knight and stuff like that. Um, so I, I don't want to, yeah, like Hushbringer would stop my acclaimed contender and yeah, and it's not a knight and just not, so it's just something I'm not really interested in, even though it does mean, it would mean that, that they wouldn't get goats with the troll, but I don't think that that upside is worth it. Okay. It's a good card. Mm. Guess if I try to kill one, they just sack it to a Yara, then I don't get to actually play my card. That was kind of my plan if they double blocked, but now I realize the folly of my plan. I need to play my Bone Crusher Giant. We know we're going to find some more lands. Midnight Reaper is just a pretty awesome card. I can't even stop this trigger. Because it's just each opponent, and this is each opponent, so I can't, I can't stop him. Yeah, this Ayara got me pretty good. 
I guess I was too aggressive with this Domri's ambush earlier. I mean, I already we already killed one ER though. They just had a better hand than us. Bunch of Ayaras and Midnight Reapers. All right, so if we play the coils, I yeah, definitely want the coils. Um, flame sweep. Hmm. Maybe not. Kind of just want the coils. I wonder if I should be a Frenzy deck. I wonder if I should just move towards Frenzy. Harpooner's my worst card. Harpooner doesn't seem to do too much. I play one Frenzy. And just play the Coils and... and... Hmm. No, I'll just play a second Veil of Summer. They should have more removal here post sideboard. That would be my assumption. You know, Noxious Grasp and stuff like that. Because Frenzy and Innkeeper don't work super well together, I suppose. Well, that's not ideal. There we go. I don't know what Magmatic Forces is. Five red, red, red creature. At the beginning of each cup upkeep, it does three damage to any target. Oh yeah, that yeah that card is ridiculous for that Oko's Madness. Well, the thing is, is we're probably going to draw a whole bunch of lands now because I just put, I just put four spells down to the bottom. You know that once upon a time, you know, it was like four spells and a and a land. So we're probably going to flood out now. Reaper is awesome.
I'm so jealous of my opponent. I got so many cards now. Midnight Reaper is awesome. All right, we haven't seen a number cleave yet. This would be a good time to see one. Well, I did say that we were just going to mill out. Or not mill out, sorry. Flood out. And that's what happened. We kept a one lander. And now on turn six, I have nine lands. So we found the Veil of Summer was the one spell we drew. And every other draw was a land. Yes, yeah, so we've drawn six lands. Six lands in a Veil of Summer in seven draws. I think that's seven lands in a Veil of Summer. That should be able to drain me out. Yeah. So they sack Orzhov Enforcer. Yeah, this is just game. It's just game. Well, that was close. Well, this Gruul Adventure deck looked pretty bad there. Looked pretty bad there. <laughs> you're, you're just laughing, yeah. Doesn't happen often when you just keep a one lander and then a few turns later your hand is just all lands. A short turn later. Midnight Reaper just dominated that game. What a cool card. This deck doesn't look so good. I don't know. It's from it's of course from the Mythic Championship this past weekend. Um you know, Javier Dominguez went eight two with it, Seth Manfield and Martin Mueller both went six four. Hey, now it looks better. That's the plan. This is probably too greedy. Not just playing the 5-5 five, five out and keeping pressure on. But, you know, I could play the 5-5. Five, five. They, like, play Oko, turn into a 3-3. Three, three. But I guess it's still not that bad for us. Walk with me. Sing with me. I will enlighten you. 
Surely you see the humor here. I was really hoping they had to tap the Paradise Druid. Um... Yeah, I guess I, sh I should have just played the 5-5. Five five. Yeah, this, this didn't work. I really wanted to kill the Paradise Druid. This didn't work. That really didn't work. Yeah, yes, yeah, so you can use Veil to protect against Oko's Elk ability. All right, well, this was my fault, because if we were attacking with a Lovestruck Beast also, that would have been a lot better attack for me. I'd be, I'd have one less card right now, but that's perfectly fine. into my face and put on your true shape. Witness the ties that bind us all. Harness the elements. Veil of Summer, winning games. Good job, Veil of Summer. And the Rimrock Knight draw was pretty good, too. I don't know if I want to play more Veil of Summers or not. I kind of think I just want the one. I think this is just like supposed to be our deck against Simic, honestly. I could see bringing in a second veil for the for one of the Rimrock Knights. Deck's a lot better on the play. You know, like whenever we got to kill the goose on turn two on the play. A lot better there.
It was risky because they could have bounced it. So it's considering just killing the Paradise Druid and then not attacking. Power surges through these lands. Rise, my elemental friend. Man, that Rimrock Knight was such a good card to draw, too. I feel like I should have just killed that Paradise Druid. I couldn't kill Nyssa. Obviously, I would have killed Nyssa if I could. I could have dealt five damage to Nyssa. This, this gives the creature plus two. Two extra damage doesn't kill Nyssa. But yes, obviously, if I, if I could have killed Nyssa, I would have. Unfortunately, once upon a time, cannot find um, Embercleave, which is the card I need. The land shall conquer you. I can win this if I top deck Embercleave, though. We haven't drawn a number cleave in any game yet. This is our fourth game with a deck. We haven't seen one yet, so we're due. I mean, I assume this is just Hydra Crisis. Oh. 
All right, back on the play. On the play again. Do 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 do. do. Back on the play. Hey, Quartz. Um, yeah, I think it. I think it did kind of work better than the four color. Um, Midnight Reaper is just awesome, and so having that in the Jun deck instead of Oko, gives the deck a lot of card draw. Um, yeah. So yeah, check that one out. The The run was pretty good with John Sacrifice. Um, ooh. So yeah, and, and it had three Corvolds. We got to do a lot more Corvold stuff. So that's always better. So yeah, I think you'll like that deck more than the four color. We may actually get to Embercleave next turn. It's possible. This isn't a very good attack. Yeah, this is really a bad attack. Still, it's just going to kill the Bone Crusher Giant. Because if I if I ember cleave the bone crusher giant, because this thing's indestructible, it's not gonna die. And it's still gonna kill my bone crusher giant. And so then I would just have the ember cleave on the battlefield, but the bone crusher giant would still be dead. Yeah, it's too focused on actually playing ember cleave. And realized, well, that's not so good, actually. Why? Why do you have to have another one of those?
open your heart Obviously. to the magic that dance one bite, and all your cares are gone. I see you don't share my vision. No, I really don't. Your vision's crappy. Crepe. Revel with your king. Wild and sovereign. Well, that's good. Free. I invite you to <clears throat> now the wicked wolves can't be indestructible. Surely you see the humor here. Nope. I've never seen the humor. Through this land, we are all connected. All right, draw, we draw a questing beast. No. Are you kidding me? Ugh. I cast it too fast. I mean, obviously, like this auto tap, I needed the two forests being tapped, not a mountain. Ugh. Come on, auto tap. Ugh. That really hurts. Now I can't play the three one. You know, it would be nice to be able to play this card. Really nice to have that other 3-1 on in the battlefield, but... Got auto-tapped. It's not poison. Trust me. Be wary of the ground you walk on. My last five turns have all been really, really good for my opponent. Wolf into Wolf into Oko plus um, Paradise Druid into another Oko. Oh my gosh. See, I, oh no, I wouldn't have lethal because he'd be able to sack this thing. Yeah, it would have been lethal. Fights for us. 
loss. I don't know, I'm not so sure about this deck. The power level difference between Rimrock Knight and the cards my opponent's playing is quite a bit. Alright, looks like Mardu Knights. Which I think I can... I think I can just play this Edgewall Innkeeper out here. I'm not really expecting them to have removal for it right away. I want to just play it, play Knight, play Lovestruck Beast, play Questing Beast. I want to just curve out. One, two, three, four. Surprised they didn't activate Knight if they have nothing else to do. Like, are they just playing Blacklands Paragon? Okay, so it's not Blacklands Paragon. That would have made a 1 1 to kill the Rimrock Knight. I mean, I'm not. I, this thing can't block anyway. I'm not, like, really playing around that. Thanks, Tasty. Yeah, I gotta get all these card styles. That obviously really, really hurt. So they have lethal here. They just attack out. I have to bl chump block with the edge wall innkeeper, which means I can't attack with the love struck beast anymore. That paragon obviously was devastating. I had a very good hand and just got ran over. Ran over.
Should I play Shield Breaker? Over no, I don't know. The these one toughness creatures. Not feeling too good. Against Worthy Knight. But hopefully we have more removal for Worthy Knight now. Could play the Shield Breaker. They could deal with Ember Cleave on their side. But obviously, after they would already deal damage with Ember Cleave. So that's not spectacular. All right, so it was a good once upon a time. We put a bunch of lands down to the bottom that we don't want to draw. So that's good. That's okay, Blade. It happens. It happens. Playing something a little different with the Gruul deck here instead of like my normal like black based grind them down type stuff. See, so, yeah, I like I like playing a wide variety of decks. For the you know, for the YouTube channel and everything. This this one's just not my cup of tea. I'm not I haven't been impressed with this deck too much. I mean I understand that I haven't played it the best, and I I could have been I understand that I could I could have probably I could have been making better decisions in different spots. Um and a person that's more the more that's more well versed in the deck um, probably would have been doing better than I have, but it's just it's not anything I've been impressed with. I think I just kind of prefer normal Oh. I think I kind of prefer normal Gruul to this adventure deck here. So I wanted to I wanted to see if they would play Worthy Knight. I wanted to shock Worthy Knight, but with them playing another one drop and not having Worthy Knight, then I shocked after damage, um, and I wanted to shock before the other thing entered because of the death trigger with that one drop knight. So yeah, I did end up taking the two damage, but oh well. Legion's End. Do they have the best Legion's End of all time here? It's definitely not the best Legion's End of all time, but it would be a very good one. So I could have taken the Lovestruck Beast with this, but I only had the two lands at the time, and I, I definitely thought it was worth taking the the green land. But then, you know, I was I was 
with doing that in my next three draws, I needed to, or my, my next, yeah, my next three draws. I guess we've had four draws since then, have we? No, we've had three draws since then. So I needed to draw an adventure card in my next three draws, but we did not. We drew land, land, ember cleave. Which was as bad as it sounds. Okay. Well, that's going to be it for me with this deck. It's always good to try new things, and this was something that looked looked intriguing. Um, but this was not not my cup of tea. I think I would just prefer a regular gruel um, with, you know, Pelt Collector, Spellbreaker, that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, that's kind of about it. Uh, you know, Rimrock Knight's a pretty weak card. I only have just the Lovestruck Beast 1-1 one, one and the Innkeepers for 1-1s, one, and so our 1-1s our one, were going away a lot of times, and I couldn't attack with the Lovestruck Beast. Um... The Dahmer's Ambush was awesome. That was definitely one of my best cards. Um, and Harpooner, we got to kill a couple of geese with Harpooners, but I don't know. It just didn't seem didn't seem powerful enough, and everything like that. All right, so that's Gruel Adventure, though. Um, if you're playing it over, if you're watching on YouTube, I still hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, you know, tried something a little different. It didn't work out, but that's that happens. Um, and if you did enjoy the video, I hope you hit the like button. And also leave some comments. If you're playing Gruel Adventure yourself, um, you know, what are you doing different or anything like that? If you got any pointers for other people checking out Gruel Adventure. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.